Tesla now gives owners easy access to crash data. That means Tesla gives customers access to event data recorder to retrieve event, record, and report. I'm going to tell you all in details about this, friends. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. And please, if you find this report informative, please share in social media and give it thumbs up. So, Following a spate of highly publicized Tesla accidents, Tesla has decided to change some things and to give owners easier access to data gathered by their vehicles during an accident. A recent demonstration by a Tesla owner in China during the Shanghai Auto Show has taken the media by storm, of course, and you have heard that uh, she was complaining about the brakes. Tesla this morning released publicly the data, the log events, and that's another controversial issue. You can see my previous coverage on that, but anyway, that took the media by storm. The ordeal started when a Tesla owner uh, crashed her Model 3 and claimed the accident occurred due to brake failure. The owner then proceeded to ask Tesla for a refund. Tesla, on the other hand, claims the cause of the accident is reckless driving on the driver's part and if the owner wants a refund, she should submit to have the wrecked vehicle analyzed by a third party to ascertain the cause of the accident. This led to the owner being arrested and negative media coverage for Tesla. Tesla's handling of the customer's complaint was also criticized by China's Communist Party and state media, prompting the company to issue a deep apology, which we covered two days ago. It was it yesterday, I don't remember. However, today, Tesla decided to change something, and Tesla uh, also shared publicly crushed data showing what happened minutes before the China accident, seemingly exonerating the electric vehicle owner. This, however, is just one of the hundreds of publicized Tesla accidents where an owner claimed the cause of a crash was sudden unintended acceleration or a malfunctioning brake to uh, then be uh, and then be refunded by Tesla showing event data records records now Tesla seems to be looking to get ahead of the issue by making some changes and allowing owners better access to the data stored in their vehicle prior during and post crash now uh, Keep in mind that this EDR, that this data was in, stored in the uh, vehicle before, but now the owners will get an easier access to and post crash. According to a post on Tesla's website, from here on out, owners will have the opportunity to receive a video recording and a PDF report of the data recorded by their vehicle during an accident. All Tesla vehicles, except the first generation Roadster, are equipped with an event data recorder called EDR. The EDR records data related to vehicle dynamics and safety systems when the system senses a crash or a crash-like situation, such as hitting a road obstacle. The recorded data could then be used by Tesla and or other interested parties to better understand the circumstances which led to an accident and to a potential uh, um, and the potential for injury. As for privacy, Tesla states, quote, event data is recorded by your vehicle only when it senses a non-trivial physical occurrence. Data is not recorded by the EDR under normal driving conditions. End of the quote. Okay, so this event data is recorded only if the vehicle is sensing that something extraordinary is going to happen, like a uh, physical occurrence or an event or something like that, an accident-like event. And data is not recorded, Tesla says, by the EDR under normal driving conditions. So in order to access uh, the EDR data post-crash, Tesla requires owners to purchase few hardware items and install software to decode data held by the vehicle. 
these are a Windows computer. Other operating systems are not supported for now. Like these are Windows computer, a PCAN USB, which is a USB to CAN CAN adapter manufactured by Peak System. The appropriate Tesla cable is available at Tesla Retrieval Cables website. As for software, owners will need to download the device drivers uh, for the Pecan USB available from Peak System and the Tesla EDR Retrieval Program available at Tesla EDR Retrieval Program. Tesla gives a step-by-step -step guide on its website on installing, retrieving, and interpreting the EDR data from a vehicle. If you are interested, you can get details information at edr.tesla.com slash help. Again, edr.tesla.com slash help. So what do you think, friends? Should Tesla have begun providing this data even earlier? Uh, Tesla has waited this long until this... Um, accidents and things escalated and now Tesla is providing making this change with the EDR data retrieval or do you think this might cause more issues at the hands of owners without the technical background to fully understand the data uh, asks uh, Torque News Tesla reporter Tinsai Aragai so please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below I have another news actually related similar to this uh, Tesla cleans up in conquest sales according to latest loyalty survey on a related news for the second year running, Tesla converted the most buyers uh, from one brand to its own. Since Smirovsky is reporting from CNET.com, the details saying Tesla was once again the auto brand that did the best job converting car buyers from one brand to another, according to the latest information IHS Market presented in its 25th Automotive Loyalty Award. Last year, Tesla had the highest conquest percentage, which isn't hard to imagine as registrations for new vehicles from the car maker exploded in 2020. The company came mighty close to delivering 500,000 cars last year, and in 2021, Tesla hopes to make about 1 million cars and uh, which is the double of what it done, has done in 2020. Not only did Tesla nab the Conquest Award, it also became the winner of the highest alternative powertrain loyalty to make. In other words, buyers, again purchasing an electric car or fuel cell vehicle, remained steadfast in their loyalty to Tesla. That means they are happy with Tesla quality, despite all the news in the media. As we have seen in the past studies, not much deters a Tesla owner, even if a group of owners register poor quality or reliability with their car. They still enjoy it enough to give the brand a pass. That's not to say Tesla's untouchable, of course. A previous study from JD Power showed its group of customers surveyed hardly went into the process sold on the California-based car maker. Instead, they kept an open mind to alternative electric vehicles. If another automaker does put uh, in the work, there are, there are minds to be swayed as the electric vehicle era really starts to heat up. The question is how other automakers can start to make inroads as Tesla cements itself as the poster child for advanced electric vehicles love the company or not other manufacturers um, other automakers uh, and brands had a good day with the ihs market awards as well for example cnet says general motors remained the winner for overall loyalty to manufacturer and ford walked away the winner in the overall loyalty to make category Alfa Romeo saw the most improvement in its loyalty figures and Genesis won the firm's award for most conquest sales converted to loyalists. In other words, the brand uh, brought buyers in and those buyers stuck with it. So this is exciting news, of course, for Tesla. I uh, heard um, a comment uh, from a person on the, my uh, in our uh, Twitter page 
asking that EDR was already there. What has changed? So um, with this EDR uh, data retrieving uh, information, friends. So the, these vehicles, uh, are, the Tesla vehicles, uh, Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y are already equipped with an event data recorder that records data related to vehicle dynamics and safety systems when the system detects an accident or an accident-like situation. Please note that event data is only recorded by the vehicle when an atypical, not regular, uh, uh, atypical physical event is detected by Tesla and is not recorded under normal driving um, conditions. So what has changed? The resulting data is stored in the restraint control module, RCM, and can help all interested parties understand the circumstances that led to the event. This will help clarify the situation immediately. That's what has changed and enable owners to understand what happened. Having received a report on the incident, the unambiguous answer will be immediately received about whether the vehicle was in good order and whether all its functions worked correctly, which in turn, once and for all, should store the unfounded accusations against Tesla, which sometimes take place after accidents like you have seen in the media these days. So this is what has changed, friends. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Uh, please share in social media this report if you found it interesting. Are you planning to have that software and hardware installed in your Tesla to have this data immediately available? Did you see I used the word immediately several times? Let me know in the comments section below. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla coverage and i have another very interesting one coming soon have a great day peace be with all of you god bless you please give us thumbs up and like this if you found this informative